Today I want to go over basic starters with blocks and how we actually join them both together. So if you're ready, let's get started. The walking stance, Apsogi, with the middle block, Montong Maki. Just before we begin, if you want to recap on how to do the actual stance or the block itself, I've put a link in the description below on the actual videos on how to do this. The first thing we need to do is actually take a look at the stance and the block separately. So let's do that first. The walking stance. So let's do a quick recap for the actual stance itself. So the stance is one foot distance out. At the same time, the body is straight and the chest is facing 30 degrees out at an angle. And when we finish, the back foot on the ball of the foot is turned to a 45 degree angle. And when we're walking, the inside of the actual feet themselves is on a straight line. And it's only when you finish the move that you turn the back foot. And that is the walking stance. The middle block. Now, with the middle block, when we're blocking, we're blocking at a 90 to 120 degree angle. We are blocking where the top of our knuckles is at the same height as our shoulder, shoulder height. Now this is our center line, we're blocking on the center line. We don't go past it, we're blocking on the center line. And we're blocking from our wrist two inches down and our opposite hand is back on the hip. And that is the middle block. The walking stance and the middle block, what is it used for? Well, basically it's used is if someone's attacking you at a closer distance. Now the walking stance is a short stance, it's one step. So you're utilizing the walking stance and that wants to get one step to get closer to the attacker. At the same time you're doing that, the middle block, now the middle block is used from the midsection, the belt area, up to the shoulder. All this area here is used for the middle block. So the stance is basically used if someone is attacking you at a close distance in that midsection area between the belt and the shoulder, whether it's from a punch or whether the person's attacking you with a weapon, a knife or a stick, you're utilizing the midsection block to defend yourself, to stop that attack, to deflect it and to stop the attacker from hurting you. What part of the arm do we use when we use a block? Well, with the middle block, you're blocking with the arm, like so, and you're blocking from the wrist two inches down. So this section here, whether it's on the inside or this section here on the outside. That's the part of the arm that you're blocking with. So it can be a block from the inside to the out. So you're blocking with the outside of the arm. Or you're blocking from the outside to the in. And you're blocking with the inside of the arm. So they're the two parts of the arm that you're utilizing and using. Depends upon the type of midsection block that you're doing. like so. We now have the stance and we also now know the actual block itself. So what we now need to do, we actually now need to join them together. The best way to do this is when we're first learning to join the moves together in a continuous movement, it's always best to learn it to start with as a one-step move first. And then once you've learned it as a one-step move, you can then progress and go on to the continuous movement uh, after that. Um, now, what is a one-step move? Well, a one-step move is when you start in the chumbi position 
and you then step with the left leg first and we're doing the stance with the block at the same time and then from there we come back to the chumbi position and then we do the opposite side and then we come back to the chumbi position and you continually just repeat left right left right left right until you're comfortable with the actual stance and the block at the same time from there then once you've done that then you can progress to the continuous one where you're just then continually walking forwards so that is the actual one step so let's start by learning the walking stance with the middle block the one step with the walking stance with the middle block to start with we need to start in the chumbi position I'm then going to move forward with my left leg first I'm just stepping out one foot step out forward at the same time I'm doing that I'm blocking with my left hand and then from there then I come back into the chumbi position this time I'm going to use my right leg I'm going to step forward with my right leg at the same time I'm blocking with the middle block and I come back to the chumbi position and we do the left leg now all we're doing we're getting used to the actual movement of the step and the block together uh, once you've got used to the actual movement what you then need to do you need to then add in the kia for the strength and the power now when you're practicing what I would always recommend is always get into the habit of adding in that key up at the same time when you're practicing it with the actual um, stances and the reason why I say that is because if you unfortunately ever get into a real life situation where you have to utilize and use that block and as long as you've been practicing it with the key up when you come to use it it will be far much stronger and much more effective as a block if you're being attacked so now we go on to the continuous movement and we start in the chumbi position and we always start with the left side first now first do the move and then once you've done the move pause for a second and check to make sure that the stance and the block is correct and everything is in the right position is my knuckles shoulder width am I blocking from the wrist down two inches is my arm 90 to 120 degrees is the weight ratio on my legs correct is my body chest facing 30 degrees out am I looking forward so all the parts of the technique you want to check to make sure that it's working and in the right place is my hand back on the hip and as I said each time just pause for that moment and check the actual stance itself now all you want to do is then continue to keep walking up and down to get yourself used to the actual technique of joining together the stance and the block itself and once you've done that then the next thing you need to add in and you must do is then add in the key up because it's a key up which then gives the strength and the power and really makes the block work now once you get to the end of the mat whether that's in the dojang or maybe you're practicing at home and you've got to the end of the room you'll then need to turn around and then go back the other way so how do you do that well I've made a video on how to do that and there's a link in the description below so you can go and learn and practice it and that is the walking stance with the middle block now below in this bottom left hand corner or maybe somewhere in the top is the next video 
on stances and blocks. So you can go and learn and keep practicing them for yourself. As always, until the next time, Gamsa Heinida.